Hello, welcome to another uh, edition of Carlton Farm Edit. Uh, this is Green Acres Farming, UK. Right, let's get the vehicle, show you what we've done now. Right, start this up, sounds like a bog brush in that does. Right, here we go. What we've got new round here? Let's show you. Plenty of artillery. <laughs> Rollers, etc. Automatic gate opening we got. Oh yes, we love that. Down here we've made an adjustment. <coughs> we've done this field. Harvested anything you see I've harvested mostly. <coughs> um I like to harvest. Once I've harvest if it's stubble, well it'll need cultivating. If it ain't then I don't bother. I'll just go along with the uh, lime fertiliser and roll it. But fields of harvest, it'll. I'll. Um, well, this one, it didn't need it because it was grass, this field. So all I had to do was lime it, fertilise it, and roll it. But the one back there and the others I've done, I've had stubble. I've, um, after harvesting, etc., I've gone round with the cultivator drag the stubble in a bit and then I've uh, limed it and fertilised it and rolled it um, as you'll probably see on here my fields I've got quite a few now so they're all nice and green because after doing all that procedure that one's grass anyway I haven't done that for that but all these are fairly okay that one's got some in growing that one I bought this morning and that that's got grass in but there we go. So uh, that's that. And down here, what have we got? We have olives. Four rows of olives. I'll just nip to the other end and we can show you. We'll go back this way. And I made this little uh, verge as well. I don't know what I'm putting in that field yet, but plenty of olives coming. Four rows. Massive. Now, let's get on to this 1.6 update. FPS I ain't bothered about because I've got plenty of speed and that in this, this uh, laptop. Um, cutting I ain't bothered about in multiplayer. But the thing I really wanted was a fucking flop. Pardon me. It was a flop. The uh, transport passengers. Control G, I can jump into the passenger seat. Control G back. Yeah. Now I can do it in this, you can do it in a few other vehicles, lorries. But what's farming simulator about giants? Is it about blackbirds or something? No. It's about tractors. So why the hell put put tractors in they've got seats and then you can't even get in the passenger seat? That's like doing half the job as usual. Thank you very much, Giants, for ruining what I thought was going to be something decent. I really did. But it's a load of cack. People have got to do it themselves. When Giants could have done it. Half the job, eh? And I think they've done something good. Nah. Me and my message used to love going around on tractors in each of the lifts. The tractors and places. Right, let's go into the BGO. This is Carbs and Farm Edit, as you know. Now, take a little walk here. This is new, what I've done. That, I found 12 silage bales in. This is me chocolate factory. Oh, look, lint, top of own sneakers, etc, etc. There it all is. And um, over here, is my crisp factory. Lays, well, they're walkers, drawly by. Just a foreign name for them. Right. So well, that's that now. So we're getting stuff coming in. That's not showing you that part. There's some more to show you. Been busy. We um, had a problem. Well, let's just go back in there. I'll show you what I can explain it. We we're putting stuff in this warehouse. Uh, the crisps mainly, and the. Uh, and the chocolates and then I 
I come along, instead of it all being in here, where it should be, I went over here, and there's 4,000 litres of each of them, so I had to take them out and go and sell them. I thought, I've had it happen before with one or two products, because I can't put them in this So anyway, to address that problem, well, that's cracked two nuts, actually, because my bale storage was full. This storage down here, it's got the hay and straw in, as we're going by now. It's like a Nissan hut. And here we go. What else have we got? I've got different few more vehicles obviously. I like that sign, it changes every day. Well, yeah. <coughs> then here we are, my new place I made. Nice and flat, easy to do. Put a load of green algae for growing various things from my chocolate factory and crisp factory. You see over here, we have got cacao and cocoa, which is coconut. The same on that one. I have to put this here because we've run out of bale storage. Now, to address the other problem, I've restored the Snickers and Crisps. They are now going to go in here, as they are now. They're in there now. And they'll even interfere with the other place. So we've got some in here. This Simba Ruffles Lays Rico and Tapple. So probably that, hopefully that's solved that problem. And in these, I uh, just grow peanuts, so that keeps that happy. I'm going to leave my vehicle. I'm always losing it. Oh, there it is up here, isn't it? So yeah, I thought I'd done pretty well. I decorated it around the edge. Make it look nice. Now, I can't remember if I showed you my track. Mind you, we can go that way. It's just as easy. I don't so much to show you today, I don't think, I always say that, but <laughs> it's all fun. Go in this little vehicle. But yes, giants will pull a finger out and if they're going to do a mod or alter something, do it properly. If they're going to do passengers, do it across the board for anything that can take passengers. Look, this is a tractor game more than bloody lorries. And going around in Mahindras and that so yeah about time I got it right there's some other poor buggers got to go and do the work for them I might do probably because they ain't got the brains to do it themselves but there you go I'm not impressed probably the kids are but I'm not I'm a little bit annoyed with that one I'll say I'm, I'm 19 I have the passenger mod and you can go around in anything so this should be the same on here they should take notes and watch what people do <coughs> instead of thinking oh, yeah I can do better yeah and cock everything up <coughs> that's it that's good. let's just get off this old box for a minute <laughs> I bought these two fields um, not this two at the side of these the one in the distance uh, the uh, <coughs> excuse me the one just over the book here. I bought this field on the right today. I'll give it some extra lime, so it. Same with on the left, I bought that. The grass field and limed it for it. I'll, I'll cut them all right. This is a track in case I didn't show you. I think maybe I did. So that's that. I don't think I've, I don't know if I put an extra up in Mrs. garden. Um, garden even farm. Here we go. Up the gate. Skip right, skip right. Bit more, bit more, bit more, bit more, bit more. There we go. This mod needs a slight adjustment to the gate up. Then it needs to be a little bit further. So you can go a bit further back and it'll open. But all in all, it's a good mod. I'm not knocking it because the person's actually done it properly. Unlike giants, of course. I own the field on the right, some flowers. Eventually I'll own them all. I don't see the point in doing contracting. Going to do other people's work. I don't mind hiring helpers, I do it all the while when I'm on my own and the wife and play. She ain't working last Sunday, so she came on and this Sunday she'll be on. 
We can't make it first, do we? Right, I'm going to sneak through this little hole there. These I grow sensibly now, just grow what we need, like tomatoes for where I'm going to show you later. Right, chickens, that's all more or less the same. Harvest of the field on the right, which is mine, of course. I harvested this one. Just let them have a look at it. Field info. Well, I haven't much to show. Weeds. Small weeds in there, are we? Shouldn't be. That's probably getting up to that. Well, there we go then. Let's get back in Mr. Mahindra. Ah, yeah, it's to do with this here. Right. That's showing you that. This is... I put this extra storage in the other week, I think, so you might have seen that. <coughs> Both got two combines, one each. And one of my mods seems to be doing well. Two of my mods, some mod up, but I adapted. This one down here. With the security camera on. Countryside landowner security that exi actually exists. You don't go in there, turn the lights on and off. Pour yourself a cup of tea. Unless the Land Rover is controlled in as well. The countryside on. As, a as also the freight route to uh, warehouses, as you see back there, where the stormy crisps and everything and the goods next to the solar, back at the um, first farm I, I've done that for freight routes as you probably all know the Tesco van, the Carmson van which are like the, the Swift 4 together as Enterprise as well I think and the Cardo I've done there we go got it fenced at the sides so that's what I've done with the tree with the signs, I hid them well, sort of. Over there we've got the uh, plank that, um, dispatch. Right then, round to um, the last place. Well, open it up. That's lovely. Now, I like this mod. If my missus didn't like it for a start, but then I said, yeah, because you leave gates open. The countryside code, which I was brought up with, from the age of dot, when my dad went to farming, my granddads, my uncles, and the whole family mainly. And, um, you know, the country code is shut a gate after you. The farmers were pretty good in the 60s. They'd let you roam anywhere, kids. I used to live up, the last farm I lived at was in Highland Ferris, near Rushton, in Northamptonshire. And a brilliant farmer he was, he said he could go anywhere on the farm because our house tied cottage kind of looked like Royal Farm Council houses but we lived in them from 68 to March 68 I believe till uh, September 1970 when I was nearly 14 and um, yeah he said go anywhere you like like so we did, me and my sister my little tiny brother <laughs> over the days I've got grapes growing on the left in there that field in the left okay, let's get up here ok I've got a few gates I don't like but if you don't can't undo a gate just get out and open it and it'll stay open until you go through and it'll probably close itself but I'll never turn left now because them two gates so I'll go along here I don't have to touch any gates then or undo them does it make sense? Yes. But what have we done up here, people are thinking to themselves. Yes, we've done a bit more. I just hope it gives people ideas what to do. I've got to put in little tracks and things. But last time, the left is place on the left, you can get in there, but there's a lot going through hedges. I edited it, but I've done it this time, couldn't be asked. Right. What have we got new up here? 
Yeah, I've sorted the greenhouses accordingly to, well, these ones, most of them, I don't know, let's have a look when we get there, shall we? Let's do all that and watch this. <laughs> what about growing in here? But it's still got peanuts in that one. Tomatoes in that one. So it's tomatoes, because they'll need you there, but the peanuts go up to mine. Although, she, we can store them in that. There's, there's the warehouse, another one. We've got three of them, freight route warehouses. Brilliant little jobs. I've, I know I've shown you them before, but now I've got mustard in here and ketchup. And look, there we go. That's why. And this place down here supplies mustard, so I just drive over here, or the wipers, and get the mustard. And this is a, so this has got two of these little garden places now, so we're knocking it out, the stuff. Of course it comes down here, that's a ketchup. So yeah, that's a little bit what I've been doing. And uh, yeah, loving the map still. Um, but I do prefer this, the edit, to the original. To me, it ticks all the boxes. Okay, I've done all my productions on the other one, loved it all out, but this one, the nice hard standing ready, you can't say no. Then next to it, the bit where I put the extra greenhouses and that, next to the big farm, up top. You know, I mean, that was fairly flat, didn't have much to do to that. Let's rob a bit of the field. But as I say, uh, yeah, all in all, I mean, I, I think FS22 is heaps better than 19, obviously. But there were maps coming out, but the, the annoying thing is, I will not, underlined not, go on a map which has got foreign number plates on if it's based in the UK. Why the hell have French number plates if it's an English map? That's number one, so I'll steer clear of them like diarrhea. And also, apart from that, the, the other thing they do, they, uh, well, why not, looked at Riverside, and what they got on there was some idiot, the fromage de Bloom, which is French, the cheese place, whatever it is, and he'd named it Star Dog, and Kiz, or whatever his names, and Luke Wink, Wink whatever his name, oh, I can't remember the names. They give them these stupid blooming names when they could just, if they're going to do it, do it right. Put an English cheese factory in, not a French one, and then have cars running around with French number plates. That is diabolically stupid. Oh, stay clear of them maps because they're not English to me. I'm not fr a French. I nearly said another word then. But I won't. <coughs> Finish that field on the left there, used to be. I did. I was, um, I, I started the harvesting off, do a couple of rounds around the whole field, and I find a straight bit and set a helper off, then I do the um, corn, take it away and transport, do the ferrying. And then um, when he got so far down, and helped me way I started bailing and taking away while he was still harvesting. I was, I was multitasking as well. Then after that, I went to uh, roll it, wouldn't let me. Ah, that's because I haven't cultivated it because of weed still, little bits of weed probably, and stubble. So I started that off and let him do it. He'd done a good job. And then I followed along a bit later with the lime and then the time he'd done the other, I let him carry on with that. Well, I think I've more or less finished it actually. And then I've done the uh, fertilising. But yeah, I think it's coming up. This is this place at the start. It was easy to do. Didn't have to do much at all to flatten that. I don't think I actually did flatten any of it. I was careful how I played stuff. Yeah, that's fine. I like that. It changes every day. And a subsidy, I modded my own subsidy, I've, I've released that, but it's the in-game one of the mods or something. 
um, government subsidy, I'll just put my own thing on it, and of course I'll be paid for that. <laughs> Okie okay, dokie. Uh, park this up. You see, you can get in that passenger seat. I mean, this look. I'm in the driver's seat. Control G, nothing. Waste of space. Let's go over to the lorry. Right. Control G. No, let's try E. Now Control G. See? I can get out that way. Now that's handy instead of falling on the fence. Lorries and things, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get, no, you can that one, obviously. But, um, that's what I've got in there. But, tractor, good old tractor, what's this at the side that you might, oh it's a seat, control G, nothing. So if you're going to do a job giant, I suggest you do it right, you might be able to please the kids, but we're a little bit older some of us, I mean I'm 66 in November, so there you go, that says it all. But if you're going to do a job, do it right, it's a simulator, make it a simulator, not half a one. Okay then folks, thanks very much, hope you enjoyed the video. You've all seen all my productions before around now. But I um, hope you enjoyed it. Cars and Farm Edit 2 this is. But uh, yeah, we've got 6 million at the moment. Quite a few feels, everything's buzzing. So we'll do another video soon. Hope you like it. This is Green Acres Farm and Supply. Oh, I'll start again. Green Acres Farm in UK. <laughs> well, and supplies, I suppose. Green Acres Farm in UK. Thank you very much for watching, please like it, and uh, we'll catch you again later. Bye!